short form now. Uh, how much of the focus is also on uh, entertaining the crowd as well as winning the game when it comes to the T20s? Yeah, of course. I mean, 2020 has always been fun. So you just got to go out there and enjoy the challenge and, you know, give the Aussies a run for their money. Boundaries look pretty short straight here. So you're going to look to attack there uh, through the game? Yeah, it does. But we've got to see how it goes because, we, you know, they've got some good bowlers as well. So we've got to try and, you know, adapt to the situation and the conditions and the bowlers as well. So, yeah, we'll probably take, you know, take it on from there. Are you captain, you're going to uh, push yourself up the order a little bit? You never know, mate. You know, you've got to be you know, flexible in the batting order as well. So uh, we've got to see how it goes and play by it. Mate, obviously, uh, David Warner, last time he was playing here, he hit a massive switch hit six. Is there anything you can do to, to stop him this time around? Well, yeah, we all know what he can do because, you know, well, well I would probably say the top seven batters, you know, they're really good. So I think we've... We are not concentrating on any individual, but, but for the whole team, I, I think we as a team have been, you know, doing really well in the one-day series. But you, you know, we hope we hope to continue in the in the T10 performance as well. As a bowler, what would go through your mind if a bowler turns around and switches here over the top? We got to see how it goes, mate. Uh, you know, you shouldn't let him do that. <laughs> but we got to see how it goes. Yeah. Do you do you obviously? I mean, you're focused on winning the game, but do you sometimes sit back and go, "Wow, that was impressive," at some of the things some of these guys can do? Uh, you mean the Australians? Yeah, well, and, and it could be some of your players as well, especially just when it comes to the T20 format, really unleashing and pulling out some, some tricks, I guess. Yeah, that's why it's called, uh, you know, international cricket, because, I mean, uh, the guys are really, you know, good at what they're doing. And, and I think, you know, you get, you know, uh, some guys, you know, doing a, you know, switch it like, you know, David Vaughan and, you know, Mendis Ball in those, you know, mystery balls. So, yeah, you have certainly, uh, you know, individuals that, you know, uh, really uh, hard to play. Uh, Mendes, do you think he'll be uh, the X Factor tomorrow night? Probably, yeah. You know, the, the wickets, you know, looks a bit slower. But you got to see how the, the wickets plays first. And, you know, yeah, Mendes have always been a really good, you know, good, uh, T20 bowler. So I think, you know, he's going to be a, you know, really good one. You guys pick him in the nets? Uh, well, I do, but yeah, yeah, most of us not, yeah.